Hello and welcome to the video. So today I was going to draw something with more of a children's book illustration sort of look. So here goes. I decided on a parrot because parrots are bright, they're beautiful, and they're actually pretty cool. And I kind of have a story that goes along with it. So back in the day, I had a pet bird. Was not a parrot, luckily, luckily. Having a parrot is like having an 80 year old for <laughs> switch that. Having a two-year-old for 80 years. They're crazy. I mean, they're great, they're cool, they're fun, and a lot of work, but yes. But anyway, I had a cockatiel. When I was in fourth grade, my dad decided that for my birthday, he was going to get me a bird. And I decided that I wanted a cockatiel because they had that cool mohawk look, and they had cute little Pikachu cheeks, and I wanted one. And it's a terrible idea to get up an animal for a kid for their birthday just because you know kids get bored but I never really got bored with any of the animals I had or got but um I've had a lot of animals and so we went to Petco and the saleswoman said hey I have this bird he's great he's looking for a home and he's really sweet and it was a great and all and then she showed him to me and he didn't have any feathers and that that didn't fly with little me I don't know why I was so weird as a little kid, I don't know if I was trying to prove something or something, but I specifically asked for the bird that beat the crap out of that bird, so I was like, he must be weak. I want the bird who did that to him, because that's a strong bird. Boy, what a character I must have been as a kid. And she was like, okay, probably won't make the best pet, but uh, here's Cookie, and that was the bird that beat the crap out of poor Snowball. He didn't have any feathers. Evidently, he was bright white when he did have feathers. But, you know, when you're a kid, all you really care about is looks. <laughs> At least I did. And Cookie was pretty cool looking cockatiel, like more of a gray, dappled color. I'm not very big on birds. I've only had one bird all my life out of all of my pets. Um, but yeah. And so we ended up bringing Cookie home and things were great. And Cookie liked me, I liked Cookie, and then one day, little me decided that it would be an awesome idea to give Cookie a bath. And Cookie and I were not on the same page. And Cookie never quite trusted me after that, um, and that's okay. Uh, she didn't like me at all. She loved my dad though. But um, we, yeah, we, I kind of grew up and, well that really grew up, I think we had her for two, three, four years maybe? Um, and then we had to rehome her, but the thing about Cookie is she ended up hating women. <laughs> I don't know if that was because of me, or if that was just, it was probably because of me. Maybe she just hated kids that were female. No, she hated all women. It was funny, but she would dive bomb people. She never pooped on anyone though, so I'll give her credit for that. She would dive bomb because we never clipped their wings. We just, I don't know, I, I don't really like declawn cats. I don't like clipping birds' wings. It's just not what I do. No hate on anybody who does it, but yeah. So we ended up moving and unfortunately we had to rehome her. I did like her. She was a great bird. She could imitate the microwave to a T. You could not tell the difference between that bird and the microwave. It was amazing. And yes, she did learn pretty bird and I love you and stuff like that, but I never taught her swear words. What a good child I was. But yeah, we rehomed her, and the woman who took her in loved that bird, which is awesome. Like, it, it has a good ending for Cookie. Um, and I couldn't believe it, because we went to visit about a year later. That bird loved that chick. Like, the bird, Cookie, and that woman, they just got along great, and she would sit on her shoulder and play whistle little songs and stuff, which she did. She listened to the radio like all day when she was with us, so she knew some rock. <laughs> but um, yeah, so she ended up liking chicks in the end, which was, I thought, pretty cool. Maybe she just didn't like me and my friends. That's a possibility. But yeah, that's my bird story. And if you guys ever want to know anything about any of my animals, just go ahead and shoot a question or a comment, because I love talking about my animals. Um, I have a lot, I have a lot, or I have had a lot, too. So, yeah. Thanks for listening to my bird story. I'm sure I have many other stories about Cookie, too, but that's just kind of an all-around 
bird story. She wasn't a bad bird or anything. Um, I was really sad when we had to rehome her, even though that bird hated me, like, with a passion. I would clean up after her, I would feed her, but boy did she not like me. And that's okay. Sometimes you can't control what an animal feels about you. But, yeah. Loved that bird. I think you can kind of see the children's book illustration that I'm going for right now. Like, that's a style. There is a style to it. It's very kind of a... I almost want to describe it as fluffy or airy. I don't know. Like, it doesn't have hard edges. And you don't realize it when you're a kid, obviously, but if you're an adult and you pick up a children's book, you'll immediately see it. Especially in the real, more realistic looking books. Like, that's the kind of the look I was going for. But I love working with bright colors. I, I think they just, they're happy. I like happy things, so. Yeah. Go parents. This is actually red macaw, which I guess is the most common species in South America. I don't know a lot about macaws. All I know is that parrots are super cool. You can teach them to do a lot of things, but... A lot of people don't understand that you have to like work with them a lot to get them to learn how to say things or do certain things. Like you always see those funny videos online about like the birds rocking out to some music. You kind of have to teach them how to do that. Um, Cookie, I don't know, actually she picked up talking in just maybe a day or two after saying the same thing over and over again. Um, but I don't think all birds are like that. And here I'm going for a simple background because I love simple backgrounds because they tell the people <laughs> exactly what you're trying to do. You're not taking away from your centerpiece of the painting or work. So yeah, if you guys ever have any questions about my animals, please do ask. I love talking about them and thank you for watching. Bye.